With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. If we talk about this question, this given question is four persons K, L, M and N are initially at the four corners of a square of side D. Each person now moves with a uniform velocity V in such a way that K always moves directly towards L, L directly towards M, M directly towards N and N directly towards K. The four person will meet at a time. Okay, so let's say this is the square. Okay, and at four corners there are K, L, M and N. Okay, so the k is going in this particular direction initially, let's say with the velocity v. Okay, and this l will be going in this particular direction towards m, m will be going towards n, and n will be going towards n. Okay, after some time, when l will be here, so the k will be here, okay, and its velocity will be directed in this particular direction. Okay, so what path will fo we fo they follow will, this will be the path of k. Okay, and similarly, this will be the path of M. Okay, similarly, this will be the path of L. Okay, and similarly, this will be the path of N. Okay, and they all will meet at center of the square. They all will meet at center of the square. Okay, so we are also given that the width, the side of the square is D. Okay, if this is D and this is V, and they are meeting at the center. So what will I be doing is that this particular distance we know. This is root 2 d by 2. Because the diagonal is root d. Okay. And this is root d by 2. And the component of this particular velocity in this direction. In this direction will be. Since this is 45 degree angle. So component will be v cos 45 degree. That means v by root 2. Okay. This is the velocity. And displacement we have to cover is displacement that that a particle need to cover is root 2 d by 2. This is ultimately d by root 2. Okay. Now we have to find out the time. So time is given by displacement by velocity. Time is nothing but displacement divided by velocity. Displacement divided by velocity so displacement by velocity okay so this will be given by displacement is d by root 2 and velocity is v by root 2 so this will ultimately give us d by v so this is the times so this is our final answer i hope you understood thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today